So when Susan, my niece, presented the project but was not rewarded for it, she was punished by rewards. It is literally impossible to reward all kids for doing things that you want them to do. If one kid gets the sticker or the reward, whatever it is, and the other kid does the exact same thing but doesn't get it, the youngster feels that jilted, so to speak. I am not against rewards as incentives, and I'll talk about that momentarily. But what I do not do is I don't give kids rewards for doing what I expect them to do. So coming back to the idea, if you are mandated to give rewards, have the kids do it. Now what's going to happen is the kids are also going to see how unfair it is. And then you present the idea. Do you believe or feel that I, as the teacher, need to continue to give you rewards or are you mature enough to understand that what you're doing is going to be in your own best interest? It's motivation on level D rather than motivation on level C to get the reward. You leave it up to the kids, but you give them a choice. For those of you who feel that you want to be rewarded, you want to continue to get the rewards, we'll do that. For those of you who feel you're mature enough to act on level, to be motivated on level D, then that's fine and we'll continue as you would be as if you were on level D. So notice what I'm doing. I'm implementing discipline without stress. I'm implementing positive behavior and intervention supports, but giving the kids the option of participating in it. 